detail right there. Here is a blemish, but the blemish is completely smooth. This one on the other hand is a bubble. It's actually got a roughness to it. It's so above it that it actually won't even show the light. The light obviously distorts as it goes across it. Things like this, this is why we want to grind the floor or sand it smooth before a urethane top coat is put on because a urethane top coat is going to only telegraph these problems. And then also before any top coat is applied, the floor has been adequately cleaned and prepared. You can see the diamonds are very, very fine. They're so fine, in fact, that you can't actually even see any part of them actually sticking up. Um, no sparkle, a little bit of sparkle, but no actual chips are actually sticking out of there. That's how smooth these diamond tools are. The contact microfiber works perfect for doing the de-dusting or cleaning of the surface after the grinding. Even though it's been ground under vacuum to pick up all the fine dust, the idea is that this microfiber, which is disposable because it's very, very thin, works perfect for picking up all the fine dust and it's a really nice material. It's a woven polyester. The fine particulates though should be trapped inside these fibers. It's very important to use good solvents. Uh, for this one, we use denatured alcohol and the contact microfiber to swab the whole surface, to clean it of all the fine dust, to clean out everything that can possibly be removed from any of the pores or the scratches or anything that's in the floor so that when the urethane is placed, it will thoroughly bond. 